and we are already off to the races. Nice start from Grape there. Getting things kicked off here with a dink. The counter flashes and counter nade's going to start to rain through. From the likes of Triumph. And this looks like Cooper prodding for some information. Oh, close to taking Grape's head off. Second two short there. It's a strong B-side setup here, though, from Triumph. They've got three players in this direction here. It's going to be Brett jumping forward here. Missed shots all around. Finally, they go down, and B-Wells quickly traded afterwards. So, as messy as it did look, it's going to be most likely around here. That's all I won't call it just yet. Sixie and Viz left in the clutch, and these two have a lot of firepower to back themselves up. Now, do they have a kit there is the question. They will pick that one up on the way there. One towards Banana. Six, you're going to pick that one up here. And that opens up a realm of opportunity, a world where they can win this. But they're going to need to hit some phenomenal shots here as Viz in first with the P2000. Instead, it's Six to actually swing in. And, well, they don't last very long against the likes of Dane and Walker. They both knock them down. Will be another round that way. Oh, look at this play. Oh, Dane. He opts for the USP. It's a smart play, but he's taking it on the scout of Cooper, and that is no small task. Let's go down banana. Nothing. Not quite the most damage you could have asked for, but either way, not to worry here. Is let Nate do a little bit more. It will. Dane take it down to 74. And I think we've got a special guest right back in store for us here. Maybe. Can I switch back into the game mode here? He is back. Hey, how's it going, Fly? I am. I do have to turn on my camera, though, so maybe... Oh. I think you're already good. I, I accidentally pulled you up in the, uh, in the, uh, the break between games. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I, I saw I would, you. You were smiling, would, so it, did it go well? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we kind of we kind of smacked them. It was a little bit of a beat down in my open game, so we Very were nice. having a blast. We were having a ball. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what? Immediately after I closed Counter Strike, I had a feeling that there was something. Something was up. Like, like I mean, when I closed when I closed Counter Strike, was, uh, the camera software was still running. So I'm like, damn, he had to, <laughs> there had to be something going on there. It wasn't there. So, <laughs> but anyways. Now, I'll go ahead and switch back to this, and I should be back on screen, hopefully. I hope I so. I think we got double mics, though. Uh, might be from the OBS thing. Nope, nope, that's me. Oh, perfect. And uh, and we're, we should be all good now. That's, after that's double mic, double mics are over, um, hopefully I'm back on screen looking fine and dandy in front of you folks, because we're back in Third Impact and Triumph, and looking at that scoreline, it looks like Third Impact... Tried it, made an attempt for it. They made yeah. a run for it. it. It came down to the wire there. They ran into six, uh, Sixty and Cooper on the double op setup, and it was a disaster in the last round. But they man, they they made the fight look really possible here. And I think that that kind of makes me lead into the idea that they can take this map number two. They could take Inferno to uh, to the brink here, certainly, if not win it and take it into overpass. Yeah, that would be really, really interesting. Again, Triumph are the favorites here, and looking at what we got. 1-0 up, and seems like third impact are off to at least the best start you can get on. It's winning that nice pistol round. Getting it done. Yeah, and there you go. There's another entry there from Walker to start things off, and this round should be falling apart here relatively soon. Although, no rushes being made from third impact. That was what we were seeing a lot on Nuke, is the patience. And... A lot of times it was biting their third impact in the back, but towards the end they picked up the pace and they started winning rounds. I wonder why they went back to the the, the losing ways of sorts, but Sixy, he's certainly going to pick up the pace there with a nice Ooh. kill on to Dane Joris. And now it kind of scares off these T2 
keys from continuing into the site, and they're walking into quite a setup here on the A bomb site. Although it gets dismantled from Brett now, just left alone. This on the P or USP. Well, that is an unbelievable couple of shots there. Dinking insane down at six. He can push through the smoke. He'll do exactly that one, but he is traded in the end, and now B Will's left alone in the one v two. Oh yeah. No. Is he going to go through it? He will. Gets cut off, though. Okay. Reality strikes. And while it looked possible with heroics from Viz, it will be falling short in the end. Plenty of money, though, off that round there. You saw the three rounds save. Now they've got everything they could possibly want. And it's actually going to be Shake picking that secondary op. So a couple players on Triumph showing their, their sniper abilities on the CT side, but mostly. Cooper holding on to that as well, of course, so... Really interesting setup to start things off. It's actually Shake going with the glass cannon, in fact. Yeah, hold on. Loading into loading into the server right now. Had to restart my game for a oh, moment. Oh, you're good. But... It's it's continue, Shake. Continue. He's on a glass cannon, and that is quite a commitment <laughs> for your for your secondary up to, to go ahead and uh, certainly shows that they've got some sort of game plan going on. But right now, it's banana control. That's it. Where is? Third impact are sitting their crosshairs. They're doing a lot of util damage. It's Shake Ooh. and B-Wills take it down quite low to start things off here. Now they're starting to work towards A. Third impact certainly trying to prod for this map control early on here. Shake still committed at the top of Banana. Finally to fall off. But only yeah. a minute left. And look how much util they baited out from both sides. Yeah, I will say one thing is like my, me watching Shake play the secondary op on Banana. It's not the first. It's not the first time he's pulled it out uh, in his career, but it's been well shaky at some points. It's not been con not been con the consistent factor that Triumph have been looking for, at least on Inferno, um, and it can it can be exploited. But we'll see if ha Third Impact going to be able to do that. They're going to have to. It seems like they're gearing up for this B bomb site execute. Great, getting up to the corner, getting close and personal, but six, he's rotating back. Now he's going to think otherwise and make his way back to the B bombs. And that's where it's going to be coming through. Great. He might have oh. seen on the run drive by on the B will. Oh my God. Oh. Straight through smoke shake. Sola just taking pot shot 60. Miss spray. So it will allow. He will allow insane to get away, but a three on four ensues and Oh, it's this round is completely up in the air. The CTs are beginning to close in. Walker at new box. He's going to be tested. An off duel might ensue, but Sixie is just going to keep pushing forward. Advancing, advancing, and he's going to clear Dangerous. Walker misses an important shot, and he's going to get shut down by Shake Zola. Sixie with the double on the retake as well. And that is a clean round from Prime. Oh, Hold on. No one's on the no. bomb. No one's oh, on the oh. bomb. No, no, oh. no. Oh, no, oh no. it wasn't planted was for Coffin. It. Yeah, oh. yeah. What did I oh, no. see? I don't know. Oh, for me, I thought someone hit tapped the it and then got off, right? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought, I thought he tapped it, and got off, didn't have a kit. But, Maybe. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I thought, I thought there wasn't something for a second, but then I had to look up the scoreboard and see that Viz had the kit and Thank had to goodness. see where he was. So I thought we were getting um, another G two situation. Yeah, another, another one of those. No, you know, I mean, we love to see him, but we hate to see him, you know. So. <laughs> That is an interesting Molotov from Brett. I swear, I can in in pugs, I can never hit that Molotov. It always goes too high, too low, too far to the right and the left. Anyways, Brett finds a whole new way to miss it. But anyways, <laughs> showing us some innovation here with the util. Yeah. That's what NA is. That's what NA is known for. Yeah, this is the excellent util. This is a really interesting buy here. You see some investment, but not fully. You, I mean. You could have had Walker insane and and Dane probably buy up a Galil or something a little bit better, but instead they opt for the Util and they are playing a very patient game right now. Again, kind of using Shake on the op solo and trusting a lot of of map control into this op this op presence of Shake, and he's gonna have to f concede a lot of control here. As I mean, you saw him not do too much on the initial play but then all of a sudden he just nails one through smoke and now it's going to be third impact picking up the pace and this should be a pretty much open bomb site he wills doesn't get his op in t or gun out in time and now shake it all comes down to him he misses oh. a second and brett able to find a trade there they're going to hold this ruins position as well so yeah this is a save call from triumph instantly and with lacking weaponry with a little bit limited buy it's going to be a fourth round for third impact 
Yeah, that's going to send Triumph off to the save. Cooper's going to try and hold on to his shiny little dragon lore he got there. But again, I mean, I, I was I was just thinking of it as the rush is coming towards them. The tech nines can overwhelm them, and that's exactly what happens. They take up a little bit of a different approach, and B-Wills was most definitely not expecting it. Uh, running into CD spawn, he gets ran over, and Shake's a little unable to connect two in a row. And it's going to lead third impact up 4-1 to one on their map choice. It's looking good to start. Yeah, certainly looking good here. It's 4-1, and, and this is kind of what I was expecting. This time, the, the difference that I see in third impact's patience in Nuke and their patience in... In Inferno is that once they make a move, everyone's committed to it. There's no hesitation. You saw in that round the fast swing in towards CT. It's a pretty, yeah. I mean, not new play, but one that catches CTs off guard a lot if you don't do it that often. And it certainly caught off B Wills and Shake in that round. Here's still a full investment coming through in this round. And It'd be a good opportunity for Third Impact to show what they're made of in this first half if they can do it in a very clean fashion. Three players though stacked over towards the B-bomb site. Now you're going to see the rotations come back. Yeah, making their way back in the library. It's going to be this four-man ace and up in Shake Zola is here alone again. This time without his trusty op though, so... Is that what we're talking about? Third Impact, they're going to start their late-round map control. Mid-round map control, maybe. But... That clock, it starts to tick very quickly. So, uh, though Third Impact don't have a site to commit to just yet, could get interesting. It's going to be the banana retake utility dumped by Shake. That is a long smoke. That is, and flashbangs oh, into banana, but Dane Jorah is on the tower. Dane Jorah just sprays him down. Dane Jorah well, down to 3 HP. And that's not great, but... Round can still go the way of Triumph. They're making their way up towards top middle, and Viz looking to make the big play. But Brett on the other side of the smoke taking taps. Two first down one, but Viz is unable to frag out. But Sixty is there on the other side. Cooper has fallen though, and B Wills has to come back oh. in rotation. Grape is just gonna run over Sixty. And B Wills completely locked out of this bomb site. Is he gonna consider going for this though? That would be quite the interesting prospect, but I don't it might think be an anything. op that he could retrieve. I mean. Certainly, he's not going for the round win. I think there's an op down somewhere to mid. Ah, there it is. B Wills, are you going to go for it? No, he's actually not committing fully. What are you looking for there? Oh, oh okay. There he is. <laughs> he's found it. Hidden in the bushes there. <laughs> it's a shiny D lore, but somehow it shrouds itself in some nice camouflage. Yeah. But either way, fifth round there, they'll get a consolation prize of an op, but we'll give up another round. And again, it's a full. Pressure the, the fast-paced play as soon as those smokes fade away and the trades start rattling through It's third impact with all the kills in their favor and they, they just keep the ball moving here as timeout gets called and Well this time it's going to be most likely from the back of traffic. I can actually check in just one moment my ESEA It will be on triumph side of things so flipping the scripts here is third impact Yeah, I know. Well, maybe Triumph are going to pull off a similar comeback to that, a third impact. It's interesting seeing how Dane George just kept fragging out, just checking out the scoreboard after the match went down. But yeah, oh, Dane yeah. George put up a clinic, both sides of the coin. Even down 11-4, he went, he had a, I believe he's the only person positive on third of it, with a positive KD on third impact, and then went 15-7 and seven on the T side. I didn't get to see any of the highlights, but I'm sure there were quite a few of them. But those don't matter in light of what we're facing right now. B Wills with the off, making his way into the apartment. It's gonna be shot fired off though. Triumph for advancing forward. Now with five, seven, and Yeah. They're kind of sending Cooper into rather B Wills and to be that kind of equalizer, or at least trying to equalize in the fact of dropping those weapons and getting him into the hands of Triumph as soon as they can. But certainly a more passive setup than I would have expected, having that solo op player, and it might just work out for them. Brett, he's going to have a hard time clearing this angle, spams it. That is unbelievable there. Brett, heads up play. They spot out the information as well. That's a huge bit. 
gained from Brett to start things off here. Yeah, I mean, maybe they pick up the pace and hit the A-bomb site quickly. There's a smoke down. So good job from Sixie. But yeah, the rest of the gang gearing up for this take. Yeah, they're trying to avoid the AWP of B-Wills. That, that position has been revealed. So they're going to go and hit this A-B-bomb site. And that is a correct call. Whether the opposite is there or not, Sixie tries to make a hero play. But there is none danger to put him down. And the bomb should be planted promptly. And this round should be a given for third impact. Yeah, it looks like a freebie pretty much there. The really good job from Brett to find that little bit of information and halls. You see a big mistake opened up there, a possibility for a 4v5 for Triumph if he just went a little more aggressive and instead he just goes for the pre-fire. So had a really nice read in that round and obviously the great trade from Dane onto Grape and round all downhill from there. Looks like Shake and the rest of the gang going for some exits here, maybe trying to upgrade onto those weapons. Not going to happen, though, as you can see, bailing out. Walker gets stinked down, but Viz. Coop? Oh, yeah, Cooper. Oh, oh. he's going to get his egg removed, but... <laughs> really excellent Ooh. shot from Brett. It's almost yeah, too yeah. easy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's swimmingly, it's going swimmingly for third impact. They're making all the right reads, all the right calls. Triumph haven't really been able to mount a defense. They had that one B-bomb site retake. That was that was actually pretty a pretty clean route. But it seems like Dirt Impact immediately stabilized. And they're off to a very solid start here. I mean, it's the first time these two teams have met up in a long, long time. These two cores haven't played each other for a long time. It's good to see how this matchup shakes out. Yeah, I, I would be interested to see if these two had ever met each other in a cash cup or something of the likes there, but... I don't I mean, think they have. Yeah, I would doubt it. I would feel like this would be one of the first matchups that we've seen of these two rosters, especially with the, the fact that how new they are. Cooper kind of struggling here a little bit. Gotta go for the molly. Will he go for another repeat here? There's no way you go for it. He does, and he catches a little bit of information. He doesn't spot anything, but either way, the rap coming through. They've got to be quick about it here. A double set up now going to get into sight. And it comes Ooh, down to a big bullied. hold from Fizz. Oh, Cooper gets the first, but Fizz instantly traded Grape on the second. And oh, Dane holding things down, making sure that he's covering his teammates there. And these commitments are unwavering from third impact. They do not fold whatsoever. Not, I mean, fearless plays from the, the likes of Walker and Insane. And having that, that luxury of... Grapes aggression as well has got to be so good. I know that you mentioned you are a great believer, and I'm the, I'm the same way. He's so aggressive and so effective at being aggressive that a lot of times you can't really see the stats that, that he makes and the impact that he has. But either way, Grape, going to give himself up there as, as I talk him up. It <laughs> as, seems, yeah, seems about as right as for a caster, <laughs> but uh, certainly uh, well, if they're going for the aggression. That is ambitious from Brett. Either way, they've got so much money, so not too much to worry about. Yeah. Oh, almost oh, out can't find the oh, there. there. Yeah. You know, the bomb just playing. The AK just evading, and the bomb throwing it all every which way. Can't find it. I mean, um, imagine if if that was a 200 IQ gun drop right there. Yeah. Well, hey, it's a, it's the same scoreline from the last map. This time around, it's third impact leading. Yeah, and without the insane clutches as well. They've really just... Yeah. The rounds that they've won have been very convincing, whereas on the Triumph right. side of things, on their T side, it was a little bit... Uh, it came down to some heroics, certainly, but either way, that's a great start from Cooper. Yeah, you didn't you didn't see that on stream, but... Oh, and, uh, well, 6 he's gonna meet his maker, you would think, as... Right, oh! Right with a one-tap, just a quick flick, and eliminate 6 from this round. But there's still this A bomb site set up to deal with. Brett might have full pick control, but his teammates still don't have the, the sight. Oh, and the line of first. The collateral to close it down. Cooper takes them all down, takes them with them to the grave. Seven to two. And I mean, it's a second round for Triumph, but that is a res that is a resonant round for them. Oh, I missed it. No. Oh no. No. Unfortunate. I'm still learning these uh the, the ins and outs of the replays, but either way, I think we've all seen it there before, but I thought I did update the series score. My apologies. Thanks for the uh the heads up. I, th 
I swear, I I updated that. I'm gonna I'm convinced oh. there, and Dane is convinced that he wants control of banana there. He gets spotted, and somehow gets away there. Will be the op retrieved from sexy, and I think I'm starting to see where what you mean by the uh, shaky banana op from Shake Zula, Shake but Zola. yeah, he's been getting uh, certainly taken care of quite a bit. It's been abused right now from third impact, but either way, not to worry. In the 4v5, and here's third impact. This is kind of their specialty in choking the defense out, making them uncomfortable here, but Sixy, he's not going to waver. He's going on the aggressive. What's he able to find? Nothing. And it's another Aww. grape with two. That's the perfection. That's what you want to see from third impact. It's where they shine. It seems like the patience in the mid rounds, when they have those advantages, they don't instantly barrel into the site. Sometimes they do, but when they hold things down, it's really convincing. It, it's impressive to see and Inferno looking like a novelty right now in the first half. Yeah, it's just these seamless bombs that executes. The trade game from third impact is absolutely on point. There's nothing, there. I mean, you just can't, you just can't stop him. There's, you might get one, but there's another one right in tow. Unfortunately, Dane Joris and Walker aren't just like that. As soon as I start singing their praises, <laughs> everything, yep. everything just goes downhill. But Cooper should be hunted down here. He has three T's rapidly closing in. I mean, oh. making a lot of sound, but a missed shot. And Grape is going to take that off from his, from his dirty, greedy little hands. And third impact. Eight. And this is starting to become very dominant. And yeah, you said it you said it before, but this is just straight up good counter strike from third impact. They don't need the one versus X situation. It is just a lot of it's just a lot of just good good executes, good reads on the CT side. And you can confidently say that Prime for getting outplayed here. Oh yeah, it's definitely looking like it. I'm not sure if this is I mean, it really does look like it's more of a case of third impact outplaying Triumph more than it is yeah. Triumph playing bad. I don't think they're making any insane mistakes. They're playing the right defaults. You know, you see every once in a while that Shake is getting abused on B, but the, the patience right now, like, look at this from Brett. He's been playing this Hall's position so patiently and, and honestly so impressively as he gets himself oh. another kill to start things off. He's pretty much single-handedly opened up this A side here. And when is he going to call it over there? He's now in pit. And certainly you don't go with this aggressive there. Great going to be forced down towards T stairs. A Molly goes in. Two Mollies, in oh, fact. They're going to go straight fight. through it. Great, are you going to turn around there? You have some people hot on your tail. As this round does start to heat up. A high speed chase to the A bomb site, it seems. But Grape is going to be cowering away in the apartments. And it seems like this one should be a mop up. B Wills wants to make it otherwise, though. And insane. He's oh, okay. Oh, oh insane. Oh. It's just going to send their hopes straight down, back down to earth. And third impact, keep that momentum rolling. No, no shenanigans for Triumph. You know, not perfect, but it's improving. At least we got some of that. I don't know. It's weird that, uh, only plays a couple seconds. Either way, a really good round there to close out. It did get a little bit sketchy with the amount of information that Brett had and the fact that they were kind of moving towards A a little bit quicker. But either way, double op set up once again, and once again, they are relying this time with the support of a couple players, So I like that they're kind of investing in shakes op right now rather than just having him hold down the line here as he's going to play on top of that broken wall he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to get spammed doesn't want to get blinded playing the anti-flash you guys go bin nice. and find the first on a dame clean kill and he's going to get away he's going for the re-aggression and this is, a, this is one of the, my favorite off angles to hold no one no one really checks this i mean maybe a player of esca premier caliber is just going to be able to flick to the head but yeah. Right now, Shake has all the information, but Brett just walks out and takes Sixty, just drags him away. Sixty doesn't oh have a. Oh my, my God! This doesn't even have a stay in the matter. It's just they're just getting mauled right now. Brett is just running through them, but Cooper is still here on the bomb site, but he missed the shot. Oh my and God. Brett, Brett just walks through and oh. He just plasters all of Triumph. Four kills to his name. And Shake Zola, he's just trying not to give Brett this ace. He's just saving with an op. Brett just walks through him, knife through hot butter. 
It looks the other way around. It, it looked unbelievable from Brett's POV there. Yeah, Shake gonna be denying this ace. He's on the other side of the map. I mean, I would be terrified right now. It yeah. looked like he just knew every position. And a lot of uh, we've mentioned that as a core third impact, they've looked pretty sharp, but right there, that's the heroics. Instead, they do it with five up. But my god, did Brett make it look so easy? Shake gonna get away with his op, but that round was unbelievable. I don't think he's even getting away. Oh, no, he's... nice no scope. And I mean, Shake, he gets a couple of kills, but the round goes haywire so fast there. Yeah, unable to use it after getting those that that opener, the 4v5. Yeah, it just seems like there's just no resistance from Triumph. I said knife through hot butter, but I guess that's exactly the right one. It's just the knife through melted butter. There's nothing there <laughs> behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. They, they can't really mount the defense. Shake Zilla gets a nice opener, but Brett just runs him down. Like, he has a complete read on the setup that Triumph are running. Yeah. And I mean, every shot. I mean, hey, you can have a read, but you can also hit dingers like that. <laughs> and Yeah, no, it was just so fun to watch there. Uh, every angle getting cleared and... Oh my god, Brett just making it look easy. One up being saved there. That's all they've got going. But the score lines and the two matches certainly looking similar on the T sides there. Is both sides really struggle on the CT side of things on... Uh, on both maps uh, on their opponent map picks understandably so obviously you're not well as well versed as comfortable but clearly showing their finesse in this t side the same way that they're flying Triumph a did. march oh yeah they certainly are six gets that smoke down how much will it mean though he's gonna have to push through the molly extinguished by the smoke of his own teammate flashing through 60 this is ambitious oh. as he walks straight forward and through the smoke does he realize insane is still in this cubby walker gets one 60 going back and forth finally oh, to be wow. traded and this is an unbelievable round as somehow b wells tracks him through the smoke but either way third impact are going to win that round somehow some way someone was the victor of that round it just happens to be third impact yeah what was that round that round was all over the place <laughs> for i mean both sides like, people just running through smokes left and right, <laughs> sitting inside of them. People fully blind everywhere. It's it's just, it's complete chaos. And, well, it's third impact ending up on the better end of it. A couple of nice shots in between, though, so. It ain't just all that, but Sheikh Zola standing in a molly. That smoke Oof. didn't quite do its intended purpose. He almost cooks. He almost turns to barbecue deer i guess okay that's not a good thought but anyways uh jake zola <laughs> oh. holding here and fully blind on a dangerous and again another opener and that's well shake is two and oh on openers versus dangerous flashbangs he's immune to him i will say two and oh on the past couple of rounds but dane has been doing a good job of opening up that banana but now it, it's certainly the point still stands, a, a decent recovery once again from Shake, making that up look a lot more stable, a lot less shaky here. As it does look like they are heading up for a B-side execute, committing into this site here, waiting for those smokes to fade, and Shake takes a pop shot, but with 7 HP, probably going to be trying to avoid the spam, relying on that boost to come through, and uh, no kills. In fact, it's B-Wells to fall, Shake still on low HP, and a lot of good damage on a third impact, oh, but that still... It, oh, you didn't, yeah, see, the you molly. didn't see it, but yeah, Shake Shake got a molly, got two mollies thrown at him, and oh. he just he can't escape. It's literally like an AP grenade. He yeah. cannot get out. He cannot get away without taking a lick of damage. Is this another that, save? It is. That should be it. Yeah. Wow. Shake's gonna take the op away, and it's twelve to two, and the third impact are gonna go ahead and do triumph one better on their T side. As, I mean, it's just a, it's this is actually this is count this is Counter Strike right here from Third Impact. They are playing well. Again, a couple of missed shots right now. Trying, they're probably not feeling it after losing so many in a row. The confidence is out of it. This is weird. But nothing can take away from the fact that Third Impact are playing some great Counter Strike. Yeah, it's it's really crisp. Again, just just really covering all the angles, checking all the boxes right now. On third impact, it's looking like a, uh, a at the very best a three to twelve half one upping triumph in their map pick, if not that twelve to thirteen 
13 score or 2 to 13 score line that could be so devastating. You know, one pistol and you're staring down the barrel of, uh, of a possible lost game. Really, or at least having to come up against that match point if you're on the T side. And there's another opener, and there's another opener. Great with one. He is traded eventually, but he wills. It's not going to mean too much as two swing down towards the bottom of mid. Information gained that there's no one in a bomb site. And you're going to see a race in towards the site. Brett jumping out through apartments and 60. Is he's going to commit to the fight? It looks like the smoke goes down, and that will call it. As no, it's a quick play from 60 to go towards Arches, oh. and now just barely B wills catching someone off guard. But his position should be known, and from the Blank, it will be B-Wills to try and save the day. It's all on the back of Insane here. 1v2. 60 going down towards mid. B-Wills covering the apartments here. He's going to need some heroics. He's going to need a Shake-esque clutch that we saw in map number one. No one giving him any information here. It's a tough peek outside of apartments, but the timing goes his way. Is the trade for B-Wills going to be good? No, he's going to run back towards the B-Bomb site. B-Wills, he could beat him here. Here's the footsteps, and... And saying it to pick up the pace, it's gonna be a close match, yeah. But he's gonna hold. He's on one HP. This is, I mean, this is totally doable for Insane, even Good if he smoke. takes the tool. Oh. oh, oh my god! Insane! What? On the move, man. Just hits him with a first bullet headshot. He's completely aware of it and just obliterates B Wills. And third impact are up 13 to 2. And that is essentially the story of that game. Of this game. As that. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. What on earth was that? Jeez. And that, that, I mean. Third impact come here and hit dingers, man. They just showed up to play. Tell me this I got that. Oh, I did. Look at this. Oh. Give me get it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 I can get it slow mo even. Let me work on that. Let's get this slow mode. I have to switch it over, switch it back. Hold Come up. On. Give it to For me. The time? I the know it will. <laughs> we can we can play this on repeat all night. How the the awareness to make sure that that that, that kill was going forward. Yeah, it's funny. I saw it from B Will's perspective. There is no way he has a chance. He I couldn't mean, even shoot. Yeah, you cannot even shoot back, my friend. There's not a chance. What a one sided half. I mean, the same thing. We, and we saw Third Impact was able to climb their way back into a 16 14 scoreline. We witnessed that. Now, did Stripe have the same sort of mentality? I'm certain they're capable of it, but. We will be able to see it in 4K slow mo here. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought you guys thought we were getting that slowed down, but unfortunately, still learning this this weird little bit of software. But we'll figure out one of these days. At least we get to see it again and again and again because man, it was a beauty to watch. Yeah, I mean, geez, third impact definitely came to play. They came to hit dingers, man. And, and it's like, it's every, it, it's just, it's not even just that. I mean, they're hitting shots. They have all the reads. There's the confidence is flowing. It's just everything is screaming third impact right now. Yeah, I mean, you, I think you nailed it there. The confidence has, has to be flowing there. To make a, sh make a play like that. Not even go for the straight up plant. He peeks in towards CT, and the first place he checks is that little corner. You know, I, I honestly forget it even exists half the time, but insane, he certainly does not. My god. Yeah, they are locked in right now. It is. I mean, this is it's, this is some this is something else from from third impact. Anyways, we're just in a little bit of a halftime break. Both teams have a chance Triumph. to talk it. Triumph certainly going to take this time. I mean, we saw that. I believe it was third impact. They had that nice long half, and then they kind of kicked things back. I, I wonder if the same thing is happening here for for Triumph. Kind of just trying to nail down their game plan for, for half number two and their, their steps to get back into it. I'm sure they're using that coach to try and mm -hmm. get some motivation going. It's walk it's Walker's the only person who hasn't readied up yet, so... We'll see. Third impact one and take another long half. Of course, they got to go celebrate because that is, I mean, that's quite a performance on this side. And we'll try and they're going to have to somehow do one better if they want to win the series 2-0. But I mean, maybe, maybe this is a, not a very risky prediction, but this one might be going. 
Yeah, I mean, again, I was expecting Third Impact to have a good second map. This is their map choice, and, you know, this, this has been a map that they kind of liked. Even, I was surprised to see them struggle as much as they did on Duke. The question is, are they able to overcome Overpass? I think at this point, Triumph might be setting their sights. You know, they still have this half to play through, but you definitely yeah, have I the... Would the opportunity to kind of set your eyes on overpass, maybe get your head into game number three, where they were able to take down teams like high coast where that map is a bread and butter. So it's certainly not yeah. going to be a, a, a tough match for them. But after this one, I'm wondering if third impact can kind of carry that momentum over. Yeah. I mean, it's starting to become, this overpass is starting to become a staple, staple map for triumph as we're going to be getting into half number two. So, Triumph definitely will have a bit more confidence going into the next one. I mean, maybe for them, the mental is just, well, let this one blow over. I mean, hey, it's 13-2. to 2. You can kind of laugh about it. Um, but then we'll be coming into Overpass as a better and a different team. But by any means, in any case, let's get into this one. 13-2 to 2 right now. And this pistol round, a necessary win for Triumph. Certainly. Yeah, this was kind of that, that rough situation where you can lose pistol round, and if you don't get a bomb plant in a clean fashion, they've got four players stacked up here. They're going right into the stack. One goes down. Instant trade, though, from the likes of Cooper oh! and Walker and Brett combine up with four. This is going into map number three here. I mean, I'd have to imagine here is it could be 60 well, on the site, but I think Walker's caught in a glimpse. He will go down towards the end. Can he get a second? No. Great. That is a confident no there, and that is, without a bomb plant, going to be that nightmare scenario. They'll have Tech Nines to try and scare their way out of a 15-2 to 2 score line here. They're going for the buy as well. Necessary yeah, round is, here. Yeah, it is looking grim for Triumph. And uh, that isn't a pun of any sort. But um, anyways, Tech Nine, <laughs> Tech Nine out and two Deagles in play to try and do something. To try and make something work in this round. This is going to be the push down banana with the MP9. Could get a little bit scary for both sides. For now, let's try if we're going to elect to play a little bit of slow around. 6C is going to try and make its way through the smoke with the help of Shazilla. A little bit of a fake flash, interestingly. Shake didn't even throw the flashbang through the smoke. Yeah. Maybe just trying right. to clear those close angles, make them kind of play that dodge flash this one went through. Yep. But anyway, it's going to turn into this B-side execute. There's light smoke going in, so they're kind of doing what Third Impact did on their Tech 9 rounds. They're consider going into spawn. Danger is playing up close with the MP9, and his teammate in great. Up close, it's going to be running straight through the smoke. 60, going to find Danger is trying to run and hide but it's gonna be great next up the fight and he's gonna get a second headshot for himself but not before viz cleans him up three on three but weaponry advantage and utility to use for third impact going into this post plant yeah that, i mean it uh, looks like they really committed to a only two player setup and once you got that force by coming through it's almost too hard to hold even if it's against the tech nines although they do get a little bit greedy there flash push and they are ready for it as it's viz holding the line down here low on hp finds one but it won't be two it's now a 1v2 here for shake Zool. he's got to do it all in full turns around and it's brett to save the day that might be why they played it so passively on the b-bomb site kind of giving up that control it's because they knew that they were able to have those retake utility on the A side players. We saw that really good molly towards new box and nades as well all throughout. Wonderful stuff from Third Impact, and it's a fitting closer that they they do a comfortable retake to try and get to that match point. Well, in fact, they do. Yep, it's gonna have to be 13 rounds in a row from Triumph, and unfortunately, I'm not liking their chances. But hey, I'd like to see a couple of good rounds. I'd like to see. A last laugh, perhaps, for we exit Inferno, but it's going to be Walker just swinging it. He's going with the Tech 9. Oh, dear. And Walker is just laying into them right now. He knows where Cooper is. And Cooper, if you pop up <laughs> your head, he's going to run away. He's somehow going to get it again. Oh. out. Cooper will hunt him down, though, unfortunately. The, the rampage of Walker ends, gets cut short just a little bit, but... Walker do be walking all the way down mid and into banana somehow, some way, but and uh, that might not be enough there. That's a good response. Grape now left alone on the A-bomb site here. Swings out. It's a swing and it's a hit. 
he is able to take down Shake, but you still have to start to worry about Viz's position here. He's going to give it up, and Grape going to reposition over towards the library. It will be another We're retake scenario. He's going towards a beat bomb site, actually, and Dane Joris. He has a chance to just clear out Banana as a whole. He thinks he has a read, but if he just pokes his head out, yeah. he'll realize that there is some error in his ways. And I don't think Triumph making their way on his A bombs, like, they're in disbelief yeah. that no one's here. They have to be. They have to be suspicious of something. I mean, as, yeah, there's going to start to make them sweat, certainly. I, there might be a save. It does look like they're actually going for it. Not much to work off of, though. Well, they do have two kits and a couple of smokes, so this is still very doable. And that bomb was only recently planted, but that clock starts to tick very quickly. Viz has been spotted, but has a molly to use. A last boat suspended, though. Grape just going flying over the hay cart. And he's looking to get another jumping kill in, but it's dangerous with the trade. And with 16 rounds for, for third impact, and we're going to overpass, but a lot quicker than we expected. I am at a loss for words right now. Unbelievable showcase right there from the third impact boys as we head into map number three. Uh, I mean, a mind boggling game, a mind boggling map too. After that, that 16, 14, you know, you would really consider triumph the, the better team, you know, watching their entire nuke, but third impact, they came with vengeance on map number two of Inferno. And we do get that third mapper. It was expected. It was believed in, but, uh, yeah, I mean, really good stuff from Third Impact right there. Yeah, that was just like great Counter Strike as well. The trade game was there, the, the executes like everything. Everything just fell into place for Third Impact, uh, and it it all materialized here in the server here on Inferno. But we're going to overpass, and this is what more in Triumph's ballpark. Triumph not necessarily referred to as a great Inferno team. But the overpass is definitely something that has their brand, has their logo and name on. So yeah. by any means, over to you, Exner. Yeah, I mean, map number three going to be right here after the break. Do not go anywhere because obviously we've been seeing nonstop action, but we will be back shortly. Thank you all for so much for tuning in. And...